Well, hello. Welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. And for that, I am extremely grateful. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I am going to do a love prediction reading for Scorpio for the week of March 8th through the 14th. A love prediction reading for Scorpio for the week of March 8th through the 14th. Please keep in mind this is a general read. It won't hit every aspect of your love life. Take what you can from it. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Take what you can and leave the rest. If you enjoy my readings, if you give me a subscription, I would be most humbled and most grateful. Thank you in advance if you decide to give me a subscription. I am truly, truly um, grateful for that. You won't be disappointed. Let's see what's going on with my wonderful Scorps. My wonderful, lovely Scorpios. I get along great with Scorpios, by the way. Uh, one of my very best friends, another very best friend of mine is a Scorpio. Um, couple, actually, to tell the truth. But let's see. Spirit guys, you don't want to hear my mouth. Spirit guys, tell me what, show me what's going on with Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit guys. Thank you, ancestors. Let's see, Scorps, what's going on in your love life for the week of March 8th through the 14th. Let's see. Ah, oh, you've got the chariot. Could be a cancer person. You've got the six of swords. You've got the King of Swords. You've got the Queen of Cups. And you've got the Page of Cups. Well, first of all, right off the bat, you're moving in too quickly. Uh, and this is a good card because it means moving into something that's good for you. You're moving in and you have the six of swords right after that, which means that you're moving into a calm place, a calm place. Um, this is, like I said, chariot means um, as above, so below, which means your movement is great movement toward calmness, peace, quiet. Scorpios, you like that. You don't like to be in a state of a uh, influx and craziness going on maybe you have been but now you're not now also you have which is it's interesting you have the king of swords you have the king of swords so you have been thinking very deeply about something you have been thinking very deeply and you have made up your mind um king of swords means that you know you think about it and you make up you make up your decision of which way you're going to go with something and i strongly believe that you're going toward a queen of cups this is someone that's in your life. This is a person that is has a great heart space for you. They are a great person. Um, they love from their heart. You feel their heart space. They take care of you. They nurture you. They um, give you notes, give you love letters. Um, they give you little texts, little uh, nice voicemails. Maybe they sing to you. Um, they cook for you. But the Queen of Cups is a great person. She's just very, very loving. Very emotional, too. And I think you need that, Scorpio, because sometimes you don't. You tend not to show your emotions. And you need a person that can help you show your emotions. And this Queen of Cups person definitely can. Then you have the Page of Cups. So you are offering your love to this Queen of Cups person. You are definitely offering your love to them. You are saying, look, I like you. Yes, because you've already thought about it with the King of Swords. I like you. So I'm going to offer you love with me. I'm going to find Scorpios. You know how you are. It takes you forever. Um, you finally said, you know what? I like this person. You've thought this thing through. I really, a matter of fact, I think you're falling for this person. But let's see. Um, give me another three to five minutes and I'm going to clarify the cards for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and see what they are, what the universe is saying to you with this. See what the spirit guys want to tell you. Uh, Chariot. Why is this chariot card here for Scorpio? Tell me why the chariot card is here for Scorpio. Ah, ah, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You have the Ace of Wands. You and this person, this is the beginning of something great. Um, this chariot card, I said you're moving to calmer water, to calm waters. This person gives brings you peace. This is the beginning of something great. You know, and the Ace of Wands is also, you know, the card of great entanglements as well. The card of you have good times with this person entanglement wise as well. Um, you enjoy this and um, that's really, really good for Scorpios. The Scorpios are known uh, traditionally for great entanglements and you have great entanglements with this person. Like I said, this could be a cancer person too, but you also, um, this chariot card means it's all system to go when it comes to this person. You and got, you guys have no problems in that area. So let's see why the six of swords is here. Show me why the six of swords is here for you. Let's see. Uh, you have the ten of wands, which means that. 
the Ten of Wands in this situation means that you no longer have rough waters. You have calming waters with this person. This person calms you. She calms you. Um, and that's what's showing me that it means complete. It means the completeness of not having craziness in your life. That's six, over that six of swords means that you're complete with this person. This person makes you, it completes you. There's no longer that crazy mess that you might have had going on. Let's see why the king of swords is here. Show me why the king of swords is here. Ha, I told you. Thank you, universe. Thank you. Man, I, it amazes me. The universe is telling you this Queen of Cups is your person. You've thought this through. It showed up again. This Queen of Cups is your girl. This is your significant. This is this is a very very important person in your life. That Queen of Cups is saying again. She 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 brings you. She takes you there. Uh, she just takes you there, Scorpio. She puts you in uh, right where you need to be, her heart space. She pulls out that heart of yours. She, You can't be tough with her because she is so has so many emotions. You don't want to hurt her feelings because she's a good girl. And she's good for you, Scorpio. This is a good person for you. Let's see why this Queen of Cups is here. Uh, uh, here, uh, because you got it over the King of Swords because you've already thought her, thought, her, thought her up. King of Swords, you've already been thinking about this person over and over and over again. Um, so let's see why the Queen of Cups is here again. Let's see. Show me, Spirit Guides. Ah, uh, you have the Seven of Pentacles. You are actually looking at this relationship, this whole relationship. I don't know necessarily think this is an old relationship. I do believe this is the beginning of a new relationship. But honey, Y'all be doing it. This is a good, this is really good because seven pentacles means that you're watching the growth with this relationship. You have seen this relationship grow. You see this relationship grow. You've gone to calmer waters. You might have been a hell raiser or excuse me, I don't want to say that on YouTube, but you might have been raising heck and now you're not that. You're calm. You are a thinker now. Um, you're out of this um, crazy area that you are in. You guys have great entanglements. Let's see. Let's see why the page of cups is here for you. Spirit guys, show me why the Page of Cups is here for Scorpio. Show me why the Page of Cups is here. Look at that. One of my very best cards. You have the star. There's great hope for you in this relationship. You are on cloud nine. This person is so good to you. That's why you're offering them your love. This person is, I, I can feel it in my heart for you. Oh my gosh, I'm getting emotional. Um, this could also be an Aquarius person as well, but they are so good for you and to you. Don't let this slip away, Scorpio. Don't get into your feelings. Don't, um, don't, um, stay with this. This is goodness. This is goodness for you, Scorpio. Don't, uh-uh, stay with it. Stop all that mess that you might have had before. This is a good person for you. This is the beginning of something wonderful. Like I said, I think it's the beginning because, like I said, um, it's the beginning. That Ace of Wands, um, is, it means beginning. And it also means that um, entanglements and good entanglements as well. Um, you have the Six of Swords moving into calm water. You you know, you're through with the uh, mess that you had before. You have the King of Swords. You've thought about this. And here this Queen of Cups is. It's the, the quintessential queen for you. The person that brings out your heart space. Here's the Queen of Cups again for you, and you're watching everything grow with that Seven of Pentacles. Then you have an offer of love, and then you finish it out with the star. Great hope. Great hope for this situation. So, so Scorpio, let me see what the Angel Oracle cards have to tell you. Let me pull an Angel Oracle card and see what they have to tell you about this. Look, I told you. Oh, excuse me. It says, meditation brings answers. King of Swords, thinking about it. This you've meditated on this. You've thought about this, Scorpio. Listen to me, because I don't. I want you to be with this person. I feel it really strongly. Um, you've thought about this. You meditated on it, and it has brought you awareness because you have great hope. You have great hope. You're offering your love to them. You have great hope with this situation. I'm really happy for you that we can watch eighth through the fourteenth, um, Scorpio. This is an awesome reading. That's what I have for you for your love prediction the week of March eighth through the fourteenth, Scorpio.